Hey, congratulations on taking delivery of your new jacuzzi hot tub. It's a very exciting day. Uh, I'm going to give you some few, a few tips and tricks and things to point out to help you get acquainted with your new hot tub. Your hot tub might look a little different than this, but that's okay. Many of the uh, things that we're going to talk about uh, are, translate to your hot tub as well, so we'll talk through that. I'd like to talk to you about how to fill the hot tub. Your new hot tub came with something that looks like this. This is to attach to your garden hose. So the very first step in filling the hot tub is attach your garden hose to this guy, open up your filter container and just tuck the hose right down inside by the filter. What that does is it helps the hot tub fill from the plumbing lines first and it just helps prevent an air bubble from building up inside the equipment. If you've already filled your hot tub, no worries. Jacuzzi has self-bleeding air lines. It'll burp that air bubble out. It'll be just fine. I'd like to introduce you to the top side control on your new Jacuzzi 300 series hot tub. Take a look. The top side control has a clear ray button. We'll talk about this more in a minute. The temperature, the menu and programming button, your LED light controls, your plus and minus adjustment, and your pumps. If you have a one pump model, you'll just have one of these pumps. If you have a two pump model, you'll have both. The first thing I want to walk through uh, with you is how to program the primary filtration system. Your hot tub comes with that set from the factory at eight hours a day that that circulation pump is running. Well, it's very important uh, that we would like you to change that to 24 hours a day. That's what's skimming the surface water and that's the pump that's used uh, with the clear ray UV system. So we would like that pump to run for 24 hours a day. It's very easy to change that. Push your menu button until you get to the primary filtration. Press plus and that will tell you what time that pump is gonna start running. We hit jet one and then that will show you how many hours a day it's set for. Yours will say eight. Press plus until you get to 24. Once you get to 24, push the jet one button again and you have just set the programming mode. As you walk through the rest of the programming modes, this is the button that gets you into your time and date. This is also the button that six months from now, when it's time to reset your counters, uh, it, when it's time to clean the filters, when it's time to change the water, you'll get little error messages that pop up that give you that reminder. When you see that, this is how you get into that to reset the counter. Okay, we're gonna go right over here to time of day. Let's program the time of day. 10.45 right now, so there we go. 10.45 in the morning, we are set. Now we're gonna go to the date and we can set the date. Press the plus button until we get to the proper year. Set the minus or plus button until we get to the proper month. And press the plus or minus until we get to the proper day. Every time you're in the programming mode here and you get to the desired setting, hit the Jet 1 button and the Jet 1 button locks in your programming. This topside control has the ability to operate on Celsius or Fahrenheit temperature settings. It can operate in several different languages. Jacuzzi is an international company. And this is also where you can get in to lock your topside control for safety. Once you're finished, it'll always pop back to the home screen, which shows you what the temperature setting is. This clear ray button is only used if the circulation pump is not set to run 24 hours a day. Since we want it to run 24 hours a day, this is a button that you will not use uh, on the top side control. Should you decide to have the circulation set for less than 24 hours a day, then the clear ray button will activate the circulation pump and activate the clear ray UV sanitizing system. The bottom row here, pretty self-explanatory, but this is when you get into your lights. Your jacuzzi hot tub has LED lighting and it's got a high, medium, and low setting. The lights are very bright. And the second button allows you to change the color of the lights. So we can lock it in on green or blue or what we call Seahawks colors, go Hawks. Or the final setting will slowly roll through all of the colors. You can walk away from your new jacuzzi hot tub and leave the lights on and they will shut themselves off automatically. That's it. It's a very, very easy topside control to use. Uh, enjoy it and always give us a call if you have any questions. 
I'd like to show you a couple of things about the uh, therapy and the pump action on your new Jacuzzi 300 series hot tub. First thing I want to show you is the waterfall. Your 24 hour circulation pump has now been set to run for 24 hours a day. We've walked you through that. That's the pump that's driving the waterfall. So there's a little dial on the top of your waterfall here. Slide it all the way to the left and that's off. The circulation pump is still running and it's still doing its thing, but it's now returning from the footwell of the hot tub instead of the waterfall. If we want the waterfall on, you simply slide that across and now we've got that nice relaxing, soothing waterfall sound. A lot of people like leaving that about right in the middle, up to you, whatever you like. Each pump on the hot tub has what's called a massage selector. It's your big control knob right here. With this in the middle, both seats or all the seats on that pump have equal pressure. You may find though that you love this seat and you want that seat to be stronger. So what the massage selector does is it allows you to move water from one seat over to another to make that seat stronger. When you have this in the middle, everything is equal. So if you have both pumps on, both diverter valves in the middle, then all the jets should be working. If a jet is not working, it's likely because that jet is turned off. Every individual jet in your hot tub, the ring around the jet can turn up or down to increase or decrease the flow out of that jet. So when you first get in that hot tub for the first time, open up all the jets, make sure you got nice strong flow going out of each jet. When I turn the water from this seat over to this seat, it can make that seat feel very strong. Each seat also has its own air control. When the air control is up, there's no air mixed in with this seat. It's just a nice, soft water. If I push this button down, now we're introducing air together. And as you probably know, Jacuzzi is the only hot tub with equilibrium. So the water and air mixture coming out of this seat is unique and extremely therapeutic. You're gonna love it. But remember, it's strong, so each jet can individually be turned down so you can customize the massage. That is true of all the seats in the hot tub. So every seat has its own air control or an air control that will function for that seat. Next thing I wanna show you is that your new Jacuzzi 300 series hot tub has the new massaging neck pillow. It's an amazing feature, you're gonna love it. There's a control knob that looks like this right here for that seat. And as you open that up, you're gonna have that nice relaxing massage coming right down on your neck and shoulders. You can turn that off, so there's times where you may not want that on. You want that jet flow and open that valve up and you're in for a nice treat. As always, if you have any questions about the operation of your hot tub, please reach out to us and let us know. We'd love to help. Your hot tub was delivered with something that looks like this. This is called a solar blanket and it acts as a vapor barrier between your hot tub water and the underside of your spa cover. Lay this out on the water with the bubbles pointing up. Grab your favorite pair of scissors and just trim this so that it fits right where the water meets the shell all the way around the hot tub. It's a, a best practice to always keep this on the water whenever you're not using the hot tub and that prevents uh, that moisture from getting into the hot tub cover and it makes your hot tub cover last a lot longer. Okay, you've got your new Jacuzzi 300 series hot tub. You've got it filled up. You've programmed the circulation pump to run all the time. Now it's time to treat the water. Your hot tub came with a water care kit that looks something like this. The, the first thing that we always do with a hot tub is we want to balance the fill water. Depending on where you live, the source water that you filled up your hot tub with has a different level of calcium or pH or alkalinity. We provide you with the products to balance that fill water, but we need to know uh, what those levels are in order to help you uh, know how much of these products to put in. The easiest thing to do is to grab about a pint of water out of your hot tub and bring it to the local Aquaquip store. They can run it through a computerized water analysis and give you a very customized report, totally free, on what to put in of those products. The balancing products are primarily used when you first fill up the hot tub with just minor tweaks here and there uh, until it's time to drain and refill the hot tub again. The sanitizing of the water along with the UV system is done with a frog. Uh, you may see something like this in your water care kit or you may see something like this. I'm going to show you where those go. Open up your box. You'll see 
a little green stick with a thick end and a thin end. Open up your filter compartment here and you'll see two filters. As I'm looking down on the filters, the filter on the left, you pop off the little cap on top of the filter and just drop stick side down right inside the center of that filter and you've done it. That stick sits in there until it's time to drain and refill the hot tub again. Every time you drain and refill the hot tub, you pick up a new one of these at your local Aquaquip store and drop in the new stick in that nice fresh filled water. You also may have a system called At Ease by Frog that looks like this. This system has two cartridges inside. One's blue, one's gray. The blue is your mineral side that will stay in the water until it's time to drain and refill the hot tub again. The gray side is filled with Smart Chlor. This Smart Chlor car cartridge will last between two and four weeks. You will know that it's time to replace that Smart Chlor cartridge when your at ease ball flips upside down. It's a great visual indicator, but also your test strips will indicate when it's time and that uh, chlorine reserve in the hot tub has dissipated. When it's time to change this, you pick up another box from Aquaquip that has three of these replacement cartridges in there. That'll give you a nice healthy four month supply and at the end of that it'll be time to drain and refill your hot tub again. And the third and most important thing that you are doing to your hot tub is shocking the water. Why do we shock the water? Every time you use your hot tub you're putting molecules in there. Picture a molecule like my fist. The sanitizing process in water is binding. So those molecules are being tied up and destroyed, but they stay in the water. So it's very important, once a week, come out to your hot tub and turn your jets on. The water test that, you bring, uh, that you're given when you bring your water sample in will tell you how much shock to put in your hot tub on a weekly basis. I already know for this one, I'm gonna carefully measure out my dose of shock. Always get nice and low to the water with the jets on. Don't throw it up in the air where it might be windy. Get down low and sprinkle your shock into your hot tub just like that. Now, when you shock your hot tub, those tied up molecules are gonna be released up and out. So it's always important to leave your cover open for a good 30 minutes and let that breathe and let that oxidize out. That is your weekly maintenance on your hot tub. It could not be any easier with a jacuzzi. Happy soaking. There's things about the water care involved with your hot tub that need to be replaced on a regular basis. For example, the clear ray bulb gets replaced every year. Your mineral sticks get replaced every time you drain and refill the hot tub. Well, at Aquaquip, we have a program called Aqua Ship, where you can sign up for an auto ship program where these items just ship to your house, no charge for the shipping, and we offer a very, very uh, nice price point on those products, a healthy incentive to sign up for the Aqua Ship program. So if you haven't done that yet, follow up with your salesperson and ask that person to sign you up. It's a great program and you'll love it.